Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, I'm Steve Chapman. Today we're going to look at the April 2021 Bass Baits Monthly. If you're uh, if you don't know what Bass Bait Monthly is, it's a monthly subscription box that you order. That's like I think it's like thirty five bucks or something. It is uh, shipped to you. They don't have any regions. It's kind of just all together. They try to make it as good as possible. And to be honest, I've this is my third month with them. Uh, the first month I was completely disappointed and just didn't think that it went well. The second month, last month, they completely made up for it. They had a Picasso lure in there and they had a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna remove something. I'm gonna remove that right there. That was gonna make me crazy as I look into the mon into the uh, camera. But they, uh, they have this box that they send to you and uh, they don't give you any prices. They just say they're gonna send you seven or eight good quality products and, and put it in a box and give it, send it to you. And hopefully it'll help you catch fish. So. This is April 2021. We're going to look at this in one of the next videos. We're going to compare this one versus the Monster Bass box. So that'll be a different video. So check for that fairly soon. Because really, there's only two of them that I'm getting now. I'm getting this one, and I get Monster Bass. I get Florida Tackle Club too. The Florida Tackle Club is bi-monthly. And that one's made specifically for me. So can't really put it... Uh, can't really put it against this or the Monster Bass one because it's just, it's on a level of its own. That's the truth, especially since it's catered. So let's open this up and check out what we have. Now I haven't looked in the box. All I did was cut it so that you could get my facial expressions on what is in here. And I can tell you already, they do one thing. They always make sure that you get a thing that tells you how to make the knots trilene not there you can learn how to make that also they have hats for sale if you want to use the code promo 20 you can save 20 percent on your first month if you want one of these boxes you can go to bassbaitsmonthly.com so they started us off with some hooks some gamagatsu three yacht hooks off shank worm hooks always good to have not daiichi but always good to have backups I'm a Daiichi person. That's the truth. Next, from Livingston Lures, they gave us a flat side 58. Looks like a square bill crankbait right there. I don't know if you can see. You can see the reflection of the, the light there better than you can that, but not bad. This actually has their, uh, what they call their sound, their electronics inside of it. And uh, you can set this up for the, it's their EBS system. It's electronic bait fish sounds. It's got three or four sounds in it. And if you touch the back treble hooks together or with your fingers, you can cycle through which which bait fish sounds you want. It's really faint, but in the water it probably helps. It's something they've made and created, and they put in most of their I think all probably all their baits. And it is uh, does it help you catch horses more fish? I don't know but a great little looking lure too to start off with. Next, from Picasso Lures, they sent a Dock Rocket, which is a half ounce Hank Cherry jig. Uh, Picasso Lures makes a great bait. Uh, this, is, this is ideal for skipping. It's got a hidden line tie, titanium quadruple, quadruple weed guard, presents hanging up even uh, even the uh, during the best baits and cover and it's got a modified O'Shaughnessy hook a great not a bad looking bait and really Picasso like I said earlier Picasso really makes a fantastic bait uh, their their bladed jig is phenomenal okay from oh another one from Picasso their Invisiwire spinner bait Looks like that is about a half ounce. This is another good one. I think I did a closer look on this recently, and I think you'll find that that one, uh, it kind of always tracks properly, but there it is. It's got a willow. I don't even know if, I guess that's, a, both are willow blades, I guess. Different shape there on that one, but cool, cool, cool Picasso lure. 
Next from Gambler. Oh, of all things, I saw a bunch of guys catching these with this exact color, and I don't know if it was the exact the exact one, but it is the floating worm bubblegum from Gambler Baits. That worm, it's a floating worm. I've seen a lot of people on the Bass Elites during the coverage, the tournament coverage, has been just killing them with this, this exact color and this kind of floating bait. So not bad, not bad at all. One of my favorite companies, because they make the, uh, I don't even know what it's called, the, it's a swim bait, but from Reaction Innovations, it's the Spicy Beaver. And this is the Sexy Shad color. You see that there, that's a great bait. Reaction Innovations makes a great, fantastic bait. And also this is great, this is a great flipping bait. If you're flipping and punching in pads, uh, you can put this on and it just, it works through everything real good. And it has a good presence and those, those tails kick really well. So it has that thumping as it's dropping down that irritates the hell out of bass. I almost swore there. They gave us a sticker. And then it looks like last but not least, they sent a full pack of Gary Yamamoto Cowboy. Uh, like tr it's almost like a trailer. I wouldn't know if it, I, I guess you you can fish this too. This is a good flipping and punching pad uh, bait, so you can use this as a trailer and and more. So good one. Same with that Reaction Innovation. To be honest, both of these make great trailer baits on a a chatter bait or a spinner bait or something like that or a jig so that's pretty good cool so we got two I don't want to drop everything three packs of soft plastics the jig the Invisalire spinner bait the Livingston lure which is probably a pretty expensive lure and some hooks and then the trialing knot so there it is what do you think is this better than the monster bass one we'll find out we will put these both to the test. I don't know how much is in here. I'm going to uh, assume that, that I got a good discount. I got a good deal because they do put it. I know that I think the Livingston lures are probably $12 or $13 right off the bat. That Picasso, there's probably 40 or $50 bucks just, just in a good guesstimate. And really, what I like mostly about this is that everything in here is a named product. That's the key. Now, some of it could be overstocked, that's the truth. But it's all quality products of all products I've known, not stuff that I've never heard of or stuff that you go online and you can't find anything about. And that's a positive for this box. Just to keep it real, I don't think this is that bad. I actually think this is pretty good. Now, I probably won't ever use that Livingston lure, uh, but, I'm, it's, but that's because I'm not good at using uh, lipless crankbaits. That's that's the God's honest truth. It does have a good rattle to it. It sounds good. Uh, that that sound system that it has in, inside of it is always pretty good too. But the rest of the stuff I'll use. The, the Invisawire, the, uh, the jig, and those plastics I'll use for sure. So this isn't actually, I, I, I kind of I kind of think this is a great box. I, I like everything in here. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go look to see if it's overstock. I'm not going to price it. If I got this as a gift, I would be really, really happy with this. And that's that's the key to this. You need to look at this as if this was given to you as a gift. Let's just say I was sending it to you. Would you be happy with it? Yes or no? Comment below. Guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for being part of the team. Seriously. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for everything that's been going on. The, the subscriptions and likes and comments and all that stuff. I try to make sure I... I, I I reply to all comments. I mean, ask anything. If you don't agree with me, that's perfectly fine. That's what that's what this is about. Don't hate because we have a dis we not that we have a disagreement that we have two different sides of what we look at. Because I respect your opinion and I hope that you respect mine too. So anyway, here we go. You know how to end it. Take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. We will see you soon. Subscribe, like, thumbs up. Later, guys. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Cheers.